rise. Just last year, shark attacks increased 42% from the year before. Terrifying images of sharks this morning. After nearly two dozen sightings off Cape Cod, some just 30 yards from shore. <laughs> In Alabama and South Carolina, apparent sharks seen swimming just feet from the beach. And in California, surfers getting uncomfortably close to what appears to be a large shark. It's massive. Oh, my God. This following a rash of shark attacks on New York's Long Island. At least six people bitten in the last three weeks alone. We were joking about sharks, actually. And then uh, it got me. 16-year-old Max Haynes was surfing off Fire Island with a friend when he was attacked. Jaws clamping down on his foot leaving a nasty gash. I felt on my foot like a bear trap just get me from below and it's like hard. It felt like it broke my foot. Once again today, first responders rushed to the beach here at Smith Point County Park after another shark attack. This has been a, uh, a crazy summer so far. It is very scary, very scary. Christina Broadband says the water is now off limits for her in the wake of three shark attacks in Suffolk just this month. I was definitely surprised because I've, I've been coming here for many years and it hasn't happened. This mom is also vowing to keep her kids out of the water. And it's not just sharks shaking things up off the coast this summer. In Plymouth, Massachusetts this weekend, a humpback whale caught on camera, breaching the water and landing on a boat. Oh, oh. Authorities reporting there were thankfully no injuries. Halima Bano has experienced the unimaginable. She saw her daughter being attacked by a leopard. Relatives and neighbors are mourning with the family as it copes with the trauma. I was walking with my daughters when I saw one of them being dragged. I tried to chase it, but my other daughter shouted, stop, the leopard will kill us too. I told her to get help while I tracked the animal. Indian administered Kashmir is seeing a sharp rise in attacks like these. Wild animals have killed at least 10 people since January and wounded nearly 150 others. Most of them are believed to have been attacked by leopards or bears. People in this restive Himalayan region say they are living